Okay, chat. Shout out to you. We got weird, creepy, and scary volume 13. All right. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes. Ice cream, make stars, stop them out. It's a man down. Baby Milo, custom PC, getting fanned out. Not from the block, I'm from the H, and we don't play around. Catch him at a red light with a napkin, we gon' spray him down. Yo, shout out all the motherfucking subs coming in, man. I appreciate you. Six minutes of ads coming up. I'm joking. I'm joking, man. Now that's, now that's scary, isn't it? Now that's weird, creepy, and scary. Six minutes of ads. Uh oh. Pre recorded? Yes, this is pre recorded, you dumb bitch. You will probably recognize this child actor from the several popular programs he's been on, like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Riverdale, or is the indestructible Todd in Supernatural. The fact that most of us have seen- It's so crazy, I watch, like, I watch a lot of movies. I ain't never seen that nigga a day in my life, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Seen this adorable little actor on our screen at some point makes this story all the more shocking. On March 31st, 2020, Ryan Grantham, the successful former child star, shot his mother in the back of the what? head as she played piano in their home. The next day, he would wake up and load his car with firearms and Molotov cocktails. He then printed out a map leading him to the residence of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his family, with the intention of causing more violence. Luckily, whatever state of mind he was in finally snapped, and he instead drove himself to the police and turned himself in. His lawyer stated that he was going through an extended and intense period of clinical depression. Ryan had the following to say about his own actions. In the face of something so horrible, saying sorry seems so pointless. But from every fiber of my being, I am sorry. He is currently serving life in prison with a chance for parole after 10 years. Hey, so I was gonna send you this. Yeah, using depression as an excuse to go out and, you know, want to fucking kill the senator or whatever the fuck he was. That's, that's, nah, bro. You just got a fucking problem. Like, you have, you just have an issue, man. This real quick, because it looks like one of the trash cans has a lock on it. What the fuck, bro? What the? Wait. Which hallway am I in? What the fuck just happened? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That hurts my head. What? What's happening? Fuck. It's gonna be enough. I feel like I felt something like this before, but like, don't remember. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nauseous. Oh god, I'm so nauseous. I think I'm gonna be sick. Whoa. I'll rap. Yo! That's why I fucked you! What the Video. Fuck? The title of the clip says it all, which reads, A priest is about to give a speech, but immediately hears screams. The clip is pretty unsettling to say the least. Meh. This is what was captured. It's just somebody screaming. Know what it is? They're probably ready to go home. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Lectura 
del Santo Evangelio según San Juan. Gloria al Señor. So somebody screaming and you hear the echoes? The priest was immediately caught off guard upon hearing the mysterious screams. According to those who attended the ceremony, the priest had to end the Mass immediately after this. No one knows why the Mass had to end so soon, but there is no denying that the screams had something to do with this. Whether paranormal or not, the sudden occurrence of this mysterious it's scream paranormal. is unnerving on its own. Somebody but was with literally everyone just else's screaming. reaction to the cry, it makes it even more frightening. This recording was taken about four months ago, and still, no one knows where the cries had come from. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. We talk all the time. Oh about my God, this guy, bro. But we don't often talk about celebrities that have disappeared. <sighs> We're looking at three celebrities who vanished under very mysterious circumstances. NBA star Bison Daly. In 2002, Bison, his girlfriend, his brother, and the captain all set sail on a private boat from Tahiti and did not come back. Weeks later, the boat does dock with just the brother inside and bullet holes patched up. We've never been able to prove this, but the FBI believes the brother was involved and disposed of the bodies overboard. Joe Pitchler. is the star of a couple of the Beethoven movies in the early 2000s. But at the age of 18, he completely vanished in 2006 after leaving a note that said he wished he could have been a stronger brother. Though they suspect he ended things himself, his remains have never been found. Patrick Dermott. Patrick isn't exactly a celebrity per se. He was the boyfriend of Olivia Newton-John, who you would know as Sandy from Greece. In 2005, he vanished right off a sailboat. What was odd was all 20 passengers who last saw him all had conflicting testimony. All I'm getting is answers like this. I don't know who any of those people were. No. This is a video of five-year-old Logan Mwangi's mother crying and begging officers to find her missing son. Upon the first watch of this video, it is absolutely heartbreaking. But that is not the reason this video has gone viral. The real reason is much more sinister. He is unconscious. Why is he unconscious? Listen, I don't know. After this body cam footage was recorded, Logan was unfortunately found dead after being dumped in a river. Upon further investigation, it was found that his own mother, father, and brother were the ones who put him there. Investigators revealed that the young boy had been killed by his own family. Afterwards, they panicked and reported him as kidnapped. But once the truth came out, this video took on a much darker context. Instead of a mother crying for her child, it was revealed to be a psychopath acting for the police. Warm clothes. He needs mom. Okay. And in 2010, this horror film project tried to bring something. Yo, get you like, can't y'all just talk to y'all? Like, can't y'all just talk to y'all fucking phones? Why do they have to have the headphones mics? Like that shit, ugh. New to the genre, and now no one even knows it even exists. All right, Kate. Uh, all right, KDL, bro. Have a good day at work, man. This. We all know one horror movie where a character makes a horrible choice that makes you think that could have been avoided. Well, this horror movie project lets you talk directly to the character through a one-on-one -on -one phone call. In regular horror movies, the viewer's role is always the same. Wait, what? Oh my God, it's so loud. With 13th Street, the horror film becomes an interactive thrill. The viewers play their own part and are able to communicate with the protagonist. Wait, that's kind of we fire. developed a software that allows for such a dialogue via voice recognition. <laughs> hey, take your shirt off. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. The flyer invites viewers to send their phone numbers to a speed dial database. The software selects an audience member and phones him or her. Wait, that's kind of cool. Through voice recognition, a dialogue between viewer and protagonist takes place. Hello? Hello? That's so fake. That is so fake. It would literally have to be live streamed for it to like do it during the movie. <laughs> hey. Hey, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching you on the screen and I ain't gonna lie. You should run, bro. Du musst mir helfen. Ich, ich weiß nicht, wo ich hier bin. English. Do you speak it in English? <laughs> Okay. The answers are converted into commands, and the software plays out the corresponding scene. Real quick, can you say, follow am um, underscore Dante on Twitch, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time? Because of this, <laughs> each caller creates a different film. I don't believe it. Not only do the viewers hear the protagonist's voice on the phone, 
They experience her steps, her breathing, her entire fear up close and parallel with the film. Links oder rechts? Links. Soll ich rauf oder runter? Runter. Oh, so they just, it's just a type of thing where it's like they say the word up or down, left or right, stay or go, and they just use the scene. Yeah, it's like Telltale. It's like Telltale the movie. Da unten ist jemand. Dann geh hoch. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. She's responding and then someone's down there. Then go up. What if she said, if she said, still go down, she'd be like, okay. And then it'll just show her going down. Was soll ich tun, soll ich? Ride on it like a pony until climax. Okay. Helfen oder, oder weiter? Weiter. Helfen. Helfen. Geh weiter. Oh my god, imagine somebody taking this shit serious. Help her! You should help her! Bitch, it's a fucking movie! Get off my dick and it's my phone call! It's my turn! It is not that deep. Most unusual. I like how she's just laughing in his face. I sold unusual deaths in 2022. What just a few fuck? weeks ago, a 32 year old man named Khalil Kimi was swimming at a pool party in Israel when all of a sudden a sinkhole opened up under the water, causing him to be dragged inside and sucked to his death. On January 5th, a personal trainer named Tom Mansfield died after ingesting an amount of pre-workout equivalent to 200 cups of coffee. The father of two reported that his heart started beating extremely fast and he was foaming at the mouth Why are you before drinking he so died much? just minutes later. The following day, on January 6th, a 16-year-old boy named Teddy Balkin was playing a JV hockey game when he fell to the ground and collided with another player. His neck was then slit by the boy's hockey skate and he died later in emergency surgery. Bro, is this that fucking game? Jared, run, run, Jared! Run. What? It's behind you, it's behind you, it's behind you! What? What's behind me? Hold on, stop. I think it's gone. It's behind you, run! <laughs> Gary's mod. This is so stupid, bro. It's like, it behind you. it's like that evade <laughs> game. Run! I'm the demo! Ah! 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 Got me. Go upstairs. Yo, the one that we did, it was young boy chasing us. <laughs> Run! This is so fucking <laughs> stupid. This is so dumb. Oh my god. This way, this way, this way. Cause it's like, what do you even do? You just, you just keep Wait. running? Open! Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in. Open the gate! Open the gate! You know the artist Bjork? He was like a very yeah, popular artist in like the 90s, early 2000s, right? And there was this guy who was obsessed with her and he was racist. He was racist because Bjork at the time was dating a black dude and he was pissed off calling him slurs and sh you know what? If I can't have her, nobody's gonna have her, right? And he sent a box. And I think he recorded himself delivering the package. I don't know if the video's on YouTube anymore, but when you watch it, you see the man lose himself. So he had a bomb in the package and he shipped it out to Bjork. And then after the package was shipped, all you see is like him talking to himself in the camera. I skip a part in the video, boom, he painted himself. And I'm like, what's going on right now? And all you hear is like a Bjork song in the back. And then next thing you know, he's like hyperventilating, like boom. Oh, and then he shoots, I saw this video himself in the head wait so you actually saw him himself? yeah and i'm guessing the bullet wasn't big enough bullet didn't go through his head it just went like just inside his skull past the brain and then you just see him drop and like all you hear is like blood coming out and somebody heard next door they ran to it seen the video they found out that the dude mailed the package to bjork and that was on the news everywhere now when people hear that one specific song from bjork they think about the dude that killed himself i saw that video that shit was weird my new top two scary in creepy scenes. 
You know, don't scream. I think it already sees you, though. You're dead. Bruh, you don't ever... You don't ever turn your back on something. Like, like if you're gonna leave, you're supposed to, like, slowly back up with your eyes on it. Why would you immediately, like, turn till you're... Till it's out of your sight like that's the stupidest shit ever and you deserve whatever's about to happen to you because like what all it takes is you to look and then it's gonna be gone like oh my God. cliche cliche I think now would be the time to, you know, run. Oh my god, this is... This is pissing me off. Honestly, I think you could take it. Like, I think she could beat its ass. She did it again. You can do this and look at the same time, by the way, but, you know, she, she's slow. It's gonna be right in her face, bro. from yo hey man sorry to interrupt i know you're watching a scary little thing but can i just tell you something that makes me really laugh about twitch chat what's that every single time you watch yeah, something damn. that's like scary and what people in your chat will start doing and i've always found this really adorable is like people will be like i rebuke this <laughs> they'll start putting like they'll start putting like the cross emojis god save me or it's like bro shut the fuck up bro. you think that Oh my god. And like again, not to hate, bro, you know, whatever makes you comfortable. But it's just been so fucking funny how like people will really be watching this scary compilation and then put cross emojis. To be honest, I'm gonna rebuke this one. <laughs> it's not gonna get me. Boom! You, you guys, Boom! like it should What are we talking about? <laughs> You guys, it should never be like you should be comfortable living and watching whatever you want to watch or experiencing whatever you want to experience without fearing that God is going to get pissed off that you're watching it. Wait, is that a horror movie? Congratulations, your run is up. Like, what? Yo, bro, yo, bro. imagine somebody watching a scary scene and guys like, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to save you no more. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to get mad possessed off this movie that doesn't even exist. Word. It's, it's like, like ah, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I get it. Anyway, sorry. I just wanted to share my thoughts because I kept seeing people put cross emojis and like they're not trolling. They're being serious. Like every single time that I start a stream, there's like a Jehovah's Witness 
like up to five of them, who was like, hey, JoJo, deadly reminded that Jesus loves you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna start, bro, I'm about to take 17 shots at a tequila <laughs> and get banned. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to share my thoughts. Okay, man. Late, man. Bye, man. Late, bro. <laughs> Oh my, I didn't even notice y'all were doing that. I was just like locked into the video. Like some people are trolling, other people like be, some people be serious though. Ooh. We've met before, haven't we? I don't think so. Where was it you think we met? At your house, don't you remember? Chat, what is this? What is this? No, no, I don't. Are you sure? Of course. As a matter of fact, I'm there right now. What do you mean you're where right now? At your house. That's fucking crazy, man. Call me. I knew this movie was from like the 90s when I saw this actor, but that phone definitely confirmed it. Dial your number. Go ahead. I told you I was here. How'd you do that? That's a neat little trick you got. Ask me. Jesus Christ, pedo alert. How'd you get inside my house? You invited me. It is not my custom to go where I'm not wanted. Who are you? Hmm. <laughs> Give me back my phone. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Now I'm curious what and when I pop that's enough for the nag and I'm not DJ drama so don't be This is a weird fit. That's a weird transition into the <laughs> That's a weird transition into the ad. Now I'm curious to what that what that movie was. Bro, you couldn't put the like the movie in the bottom right hand corner or the left hand corner or some shit like that, man. That like I like an interest interesting thing I would watch, man. 